the yeah. electronic version earlier yeah. than that. Okay. It would be great. And then yeah. we can distribute it that way. Yeah. And we'll get the content of it. She has it all covered. Yeah. All right, we're going to get started on our budget, budget workshop. It is after five, so we should be able to do that. We had we have a new we have the latest copy of the budget. <laughs> to go over it, it includes up to date um, revenue amounts, up to date um, there were some other things we were waiting on SAU yeah. amounts and, and then the changes that you guys made and the last changes time. that we made last time. <laughs> And uh, Bob also, we also in our packet were the. Uh, they also included some some warrant information, and we have some other things. Stuff. So lots of things to try to finalize tonight, so we can get this going to present to the budget committee next Wednesday. It's less than a week away. All right, so I guess if you want to walk us through it again, sure. uh, wh wh where we are, and then the... Uh, sure, why, why don't we start by, Katie, okay, you can just go over the first page, and I'll take them through the front. <laughs> so, um, as Judy said, the revenue did change. We've got the updated figures from the state. Um, it has gone down quite a bit, about 52000 from the state. Mm -hmm. um, so that's reflected there. So in total, it's about $150,000 less than last year, or current year. Um, that's because of the transfer to the, to the trust funds and then that $52,000 um, loss of revenue from the state. Um, the expenditure side, but based on all the changes that we made last time, it's um, $22,000 less than the current year's budget. Um, so in total, $127,000 net budget decrease. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I think it's, I think it's important that we emphasize among ourselves and to other people that the budget itself is down, mm -hmm. and but, but our revenues have also been decreased, yeah. decreased from the state. So uh, while we're doing a good job with our budget, we don't have any control over the, the that revenue stream from the state. <coughs> And those are estimates at this point. They, still, they, they still will they revise them. And we just got our revised numbers for the current year in November. So that won't happen until, you know, mm -hmm. the following November. But. So can you just clarify for me, mm -hmm. this 22000 less yep. does not take into account or does take into account the reduced revenue? Nope. So the, the revenue is the 149 The This is the uh, decrease in expenditure. So the net is the 127 That includes both. And then once we finalize, I'll do that tax impact sheet again like I did last year that shows each of the items and what the impact is on the taxes. So, yeah. mm -hmm. All right. So after that, you, you have the kind of overall, but if you can go to this page, the proposed budget, I'll just walk you through. And if you have any questions along the way, <laughs> you can address those. It's right after those. Yes, I put, all my I put all my questions on this okay. one. <laughs> and I'll just go page by page and, and get some of the highlights. And if you have questions on any of those, feel free to jump in. Katie, please do the same. Um, on the first page, you see that our teaching salaries are down uh, $30,000. Those are actuals because of new hires and people that retired. So we're taking it off their present budget and where they would be. Um, so there's an adjustment there as well. We did add the additional day for PE in there, so that was one of the things that you discussed last <coughs> time. Um, you can see that the down a little bit farther, we've got the, the actuals on um, the health insurance and the dental insurance. Health insurance rate was an increase of 4.5%, and the dental insurance was on a 3.9% increase. So those have been adjusted in this budget as well. Going down a little bit further, you'll see a $59,000 reduction in tuition for middle school. Um, again, those are the rates that we've, we've gotten from Marshwood, so we took existing population and adjusted it accordingly. And I added that for one contingency student we decided for. I mean, we reduced one. Didn't have reduced one from last time. 
then right below that is the high school, and you can see, again, it's up $45,000, but that's simply going by existing students and, and, and uh, taking the tuition number accordingly. And that one went up between the first budget and this budget, the high school students, right? Yeah, it just, is they just because of the county? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so there's an in increase in tuition rate, but just the number of students mm -hmm. is the decrease in... And right, you've got, yeah, all at the same time. the difference time. between the middle school and the high school, it's that $11,000 reduction of the one contingency student. It just moved between middle and high from last time to this So time. we have someone allocated as a high school yes. student. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, supposed yeah. to be yeah. so if, if you take the difference, it's just the 11000 if we had yeah. more students. Yeah. Right. Thank you. No. <clears throat> but that is something that we can keep an eye on, and if we have a couple students move in between now and the time that you know you go to uh, uh, finalize your budget, then we certainly can adjust that along the way. We we'll keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got some some uh, increases in general supplies, general supply reading. You can see some other adjustments there, up and down slightly on on supplies uh, on the first page. Um, reference books that, that were purchased that are uh, a reduction there on the first page of $3,800. Any questions on the first page? Going on for the second page, um, technology, new equipment, we've got a, a decrease there of $13,000. Um, and Rich, correct me if I'm wrong, that's because that there, there has been some substantial purchases over the last couple of years that, that have allowed us to get into a, a situation where we could make a, a reduction like that. Correct. Um, again, on the other side, technology equipment replacement, up slightly, $3,000 on that, just trying to keep into that rotation and, and not get behind. Um, so that's uh, a little bit of an increase there. And then going down through the rest of that, you can see more equipment, some, some slight increases and some slight decreases along the way, just to request by the staff. Can I just ask um, a question about the new equipment purchases going down, going down pretty significantly? And that's not going to set us up for a dramatic increase next. You're looking at the top line on the second yeah. page. Thirteen thousand. Is that, is that I don't taking that into account. Is that well, new equipment fluctuates slightly because it's not something like supplies right. that you need to do every year. But from my understanding, and, and again, jump in, Rich. It is it, these were the requests that were put out for teachers, and it's it, that that's what was requested. So I think. Well, this is technology, sure. though. So um, not all of it, no. Oh, not all of that? No. I thought all that line was technology. Well, yeah, that, 13, one, that one. Yeah, that's, that, that's, the the one that's the one we're talking about. It's the 13,000. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about all no, of them. No, no, just that top line. Okay, just the top line of technology. Yeah, I just um, want to make sure I, that we're not going to... We've still got... Uh, we still have $15,000. No, wait a minute. No, no. $2,100. $2,100. $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, $2, and we've got 29000 for replace equipment. Which you'll see, okay. you'll see in a normal replacement cycle, it goes from new equipment to replace equipment. So we've got, got it. We've, we've if you got remember too, for the well. current year's budget, we we broke it out a little bit, so it all used to be listed under the new that's equipment. What, so that's okay. why in the Thank years you. past, you've had like fifty thousand yeah. things like that. It's because we didn't have it broken out by got the it. in replacement. So got it. Okay. So we still have. You still have technology over thirty thousand yes. dollars. Yes. And over time, if if we're in a good replacement okay. cycle, you'll see a pretty consistent amount in replacement yeah. of equipment, and the new equipment will go down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Sorry, I thought you were talking about all the. No. Okay. So by new, we mean absolutely brand new. We've never instead of yes. replacing fifteen, we're getting five new, uh, twenty, and five are new and. Or adding or a, a, a complete new. laptop yeah. card or yeah. something yeah. like that yeah. that would be new equipment. About, down the bottom of that, starting to get into special education. Um, you can see some salary adjustments there. <coughs> the, the mainstream coach is, is a, a slight decrease. Any highlights there, Katie? I no, and, that, and nothing changed from last time right. to this time in special ed. So that's the same as we can And then down the bottom of that page, you'll see your special ed tuition, high school, middle school. 
and again, that's a that's a snapshot in time in trying to take our, our best guess. So if, if we were to get a, a high need student or something to adjust that that moves in in the next month or so, we could adjust that number either up or down. On page three, uh, finishing off special education. You can see the bottom line in that uh, is fairly static. I mean, it's down $1,000, but it's, it's, it's pretty close. Uh, moving down that page, co-curriculars were adjusted slightly down. Uh, I think we discussed that last time. Mm -hmm. um, and then down at the bottom of the page, guidance services and nursing services as well, fairly static. Page four, again, nurses services, speech services. Um, just looking down the, the adaptive PE, we talked about that uh, last time, that that, that was a, a, a figure that was in there for, I guess, a number of years that wasn't utilized, so we've adjusted that down slightly because the need is not um, a glaring need. Uh, and then also down at the bottom, you'll see your librarian services, um, and benefits adjusted accordingly. Two. Um, for the adaptive, um, do we, is this 672, do we expect to expend much more of that one? Do we maybe want to knock that down even further? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a good, a, a good question. The, the, the history only goes back really a couple of years. And, and one year, apparently, I'm assuming those are actuals, we, mm -hmm. we, yeah. we did spend just under 5000 The following year, we only spent 672 and then we had it at five. And, and and I don't think we're spending any this year. I don't know. I don't think we are. That's a tough one so, to get yeah, a handle on year right. after year. I, I guess I would suggest we're, we're reducing it $2,500. I, I, I would suggest we leave it at $2,500 and then revisit that again next year. Okay. Because if I remember correctly, for this current year, it was at $20,000 is what we had budgeted. Going into the budget process last year, we decreased it by $15,000 to five for the current year. Oh, yes. Remember during the, either the public right hearing now. or the um, deliberative yep. one of them, we, we brought it right. down from okay. $20,000 to five. So mm -hmm. it was a significantly higher than we before this year. Leaving it at 2500 or reducing it to $2,500 and leaving twenty five in there, we can keep an eye on it and get a little better history mm -hmm. over time. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On page five. We did have the additional meetings in for the, what we talked about that last time for the secretary for any additional meetings that we would have. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't a large increase. No, I think, to meet, but, I think um, the increase in the added meetings. two more meetings. Mm -hmm. Just to be Because I think we were, yeah, we ran through it last year. Mm -hmm. and, and at the bottom of that page, legal services, we we reduced yeah. that by seventy five hundred dollars yeah. as well. Page six. Um, the SAU assessment. We we put that number in. That's not a final number until after Monday night. Mm -hmm. um, but that's a, a best guess at this point. Um, Let's see, school administration. Um, I don't see anything there in there. Any, any questions on page six? Custodial services starts at the bottom of that page. Is there a specific reason for administrative general supplies going up? It was 1000 mm -hmm. and now it's 4000 Right. That's the line that we put a couple of field trip requests into because we don't have a specific a field trip transportation. We don't have a line for field trip cost yeah. and there were a couple of requests okay. by staff members. Yeah, and that's, a, and that's, um, and that's about the 3000 more. Yeah. Thank you. 
Okay, seven, moving into um, custodial supplies. Uh, you could, you'll see that a, the custodial equipment <laughs> replacement is, is down $3,900. Uh, we have adjusted grounds maintenance. If you work your way down, grounds maintenance is, is up. $35,000 and you can see the, the appropriate things in there that are budgeted for. One of the biggest is the replacement of the pipe the water from Locust Street. We put a $40,000 marker in there. Yeah. Best guess mm -hmm. at this point. We um, had a little discussion about that last night um, and one of the water commissioners definitely thought that if we could get the contractor for that's doing the all the other work to do it and use their trenchless system that it would probably be more his estimate was more in the realm of ten thousand. Um, I don't know. But that that was the commissioner's guess, yes. right? Yeah. Okay. I'm just providing information. <laughs> If we don't spend it, it would be great, but it just makes me nervous not having it because if it goes if it goes over that ten thousand dollars more towards the forty thousand, then we need to make it up somewhere else, which comes from your school. Mm -hmm. I would absolutely recommend. But could we get uh, last time we met, Dix, we mentioned that we um, are required to change our line coming in. And so that's a is that a state is the state well, saying we understand it's a state that they require them they're doing the line. We're not going to be able to tie in the old line that we have. Okay. And we have to put a new line. In the okay. Area. And that's good to know because I, I know one of the uh, water meetings I attended, and it, they, they said we, we we would have the choice of replacing it, and that may okay. just be homeowners that have that choice. I don't, I don't think know. Homeowners, either. homeowners may not either. I don't okay. Think, I think they all have to. But I think we need to we need to be. I agree. We need to be prepared. So well, the other thing too is we we have to put that out to bid. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we can just select somebody not to not yeah. to no I mean I think I think we should definitely get different but whether it's a formal bid or a, at least a, yeah. And, a yeah. Up and, down. and when the bidding occurs. Yeah. Well I'm yeah. going to know when we're well, that's doing it. another issue that is up in the air is when this project might be completed like it might be completed within this fiscal year and then that's really mm. due at that point. Well, it's one thing to coordinate. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're right. It could oh, yeah. be this fiscal year. Yeah, it's very do it in the spring. It yeah. very likely could be this fiscal year. I see. Uh huh. <laughs> so there's that. Well, that's good to keep in mind as we move forward on this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See what the. I would that. still leave. The but we'll know. We'll know. Oh, I, I, yeah. Yeah. I agree. What are, what are yeah, the board? We don't yeah. have any idea really. Is what the problem is. But. And and and. Again, depending on when it's done, it could mean July rather than June, or you know, could yeah. or, or May. Mm -hmm. If it's in next year's, if we have it in next year's budget, we'll have to we'll see what. Um, also, <coughs> I unfortunately took my binder for my budget committee um, meetings out of my bag right before I came here. We got figures for what you know if the budget. That they propose is passed as is mm -hmm. what the bills will look like mm -hmm. um, and I can't remember the exact figures but I want to say it was something like a 60% increase just so what? yeah and you can see we went up we went up we did not go up anywhere near 60% mm -hmm. so we may want to revisit that this is a proposed budget. It's not final by any means, but that was their estimate based on the budget they put out. It, and and you know, it, it, is that a one-time, uh, one one year's increase to pay for the project in one year, or don't we know? I, I don't. It would have to be if it was mm, 60 no, percent. So, <coughs> so there, the proposal is to um, bond. I, I, I'm not sure if bond is the right term, but get a basically get a loan mm -hmm. for the amount of work that they need to do, and then um, distribute it over five years. I believe it was. So that is the rate based on that plan. So at least.
least five years, right? Presumably. So should we raise water and sewer to 6,000? 6,080. You think it's 60%? Maybe? Yeah. <coughs> I, would say six, I would say 6,000 and then figure out what it's actually going to be. At the time that the pipe is replaced, we will also be getting a new meter. Our meter is like original equipment. <laughs> Therefore, it will become more accurate when our pipes are replaced. I don't expect our price to go of water to go down. Right. So this is this is a. <coughs> I would I would suggest I'll make the recommendation that we raise that number to six thousand to just be you know just prepared. Yeah, we have to. I mean, given the, the makeup of the floor, I'm not sure how accurate that be anyway. So. So another another fifty one percent, right? Yeah. I think we have to. And as 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 Aaron was pointed out, it, or whatever it was, it, or it could be this fiscal year. So we have to. Yeah. And again, keep and like keeping in mind that. Um, yeah. Okay. It's hard to keep track of the years and so they, um, yeah. when things happen. Yeah. Emily, they said it would be when would that start though? When would that rate start? Uh. Presumably, March. upon their next, okay. you know, budgets, uh, the first mm -hmm. billing cycle of their next budget, right? Absolutely. So March. So it may have, yeah. Well, uh, no. It, it, well, it depends on how they decide to do it, but the, their fiscal year is is, is January to December. Right. So it could hit us. It won't hit us in our January bill because their budget won't be passed until March. Right. But, but uh, theoretically, March or yeah. The, but then they did year in July. I would still suggest raising it to six, and then if it's yeah, or if it's if, you know maybe we'll get lucky, it won't be that much, but still at least we'll have the money in there. But, I mean, we can justify. Yeah, we have a ton of other pieces here. Yeah, and we can look at and we can yeah. maybe look at some other stuff. That's right. Just get rid of our first. Okay. <laughs> get rid of them. <laughs> okay. So well, one one of the things. Can't think of <laughs> well, this is the page we may want to come back to if we think we want to make any further cuts. Well, so well, we're right there. So, so we're here. So we let's. Yeah, why don't we're yeah. right there? So I know we, we talked about the shed mm -hmm. last meeting, and I don't know that we came to a conclusion about. I wasn't here. Well, we 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 right. Let's let's have the discussion needed, here. Or we needed to sort of pull out the stuff in the attic first, and then. Or even if we could wait, mm -hmm. wait a year. How big a shed are we talking about? Well, uh, I will, I will. Uh, Dick is right here to jump in, but it could be right, even yeah. a, it could be a portable shed. It could be something that gets rented. It is, it is mm -hmm. for. Give me the Reader's Digest version of the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a multiple of, of props and whatnot from the yeah. drama upstairs. It takes up a pretty big area there. Some of that probably needs to get called down. But you need probably an area, I would think, like a 20 foot by 10 foot box. Yeah. A roll off box, so to speak. Or a container. Right. Does it need to be waterproof? It should be. <laughs> <laughs> if you want the props to continue. Well, I'm just saying that's not right. Yeah, it's hard to just put some plastic in that together. I think it's good. That's an animal. So the cost yeah. was uh, <laughs> five thousand. And I think as we look at this, there are there are some things that are nice to have still on this list that we that we left there. Now something did come off. Something big did come off on the lower part. Yes, yes. on the lower part. Basement doors. For but let's we removed the windows in the gym. Right, and, and that's what that's what. And we removed, removed the. Um, we only did the treads of the stairs and not the, not the whole thing. Yes. yes. You removed the windows from the gym. Well, <laughs> well, no, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. So, <laughs> so, so, so I, know, I know windows and, and, and so well, we're that front, the, baby. The, the north part, that's, that's just a, it's like a sieve. Yeah, so we're, we're going to get to right. that. We're going to get to that in a minute. Yeah, those are the ones they want to replace. But in right. terms of, in terms of the, uh, the, t the maintenance part, so the, yeah. uh, I think there are some sort of nice to haves, which is the curbing before the parking lot areas, and and I understand. Believe me, I don't like people driving on my lawn either, but I think it's a nice to have. 
and the storage shed, th there's a part of me that just is a little bit concerned that, that maybe we should have built a bigger shed two years ago or whenever it was, and it was controversial enough for, in the neighborhood building that shed. Um, to put another shed up now seems a little... It just seems a little quick. Well, they're not the but same thing. That's a that's not a waterproof shed. Oh yes, it is. It is. The one we have out there is waterproof. Oh, yeah. It'll be full, yeah. So you don't get any moisture at all. Yeah. 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 It doesn't make it no. All right. I wasn't sure. It just seemed like a metal. So it's a metal. It's a metal building. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It sounds so to me like we might be able to further assess the contents of the attic water yeah. space. Before we make a decision about that, I mean, let's have let's have one conversation at a time. Go ahead, Emily, and then Tom. Yeah, it just strikes me that maybe we could probably. It, it sounds like there are some things that could probably get tossed. That there are some things that maybe could find other homes. Um, so maybe we could do some of that work prior to building the shed. Uh, and maybe some of that work has been done. Yeah, I, 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 oh, I don't, I don't, I don't I, mean to imply that. I mean, right. I mean, probably a lot of it has been done. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I know we're in the process of that out. And, and, and Tom, I know you have, uh, I know you're quite interested in, in the building. And I think I think Rich and Dick and, and, and the boss are involved too in some building stuff. And it would be nice to have a board member get involved with that kind of stuff. Yeah, if I'd you're, be more than happy to. So, so Can I ask you a question though? How much room is still out in that shed? It's I know it's pretty full. It's getting it was. Full. It's getting pretty full. I keep trying to. Uh, okay. We 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 but we're going to clear up all the fan space. <laughs> oh, because we're going to put, well, hopefully we're going to put fans in every room rather than have all these standing fans with cords running across all of them. <laughs> I'll install them all. <laughs> yeah, I would say if we could hold off on the shed. Yeah. Well, maybe that's uh, something. Perhaps as well. Maybe we can have like a, a subcommittee of me, um, Dick, we'll figure out <laughs> the needs. Well, uh, well, I just know that you have a real interest in the building. Oh, notice yeah, notice that there's window shade replacement further down here, and I yeah. know that's one of your pet peeves. Well, I and that we should talk more about yeah. that too. And Dick has some ideas on the windows in the it, in the gym, but <laughs> but right now there's nothing on here for them because it would be good to have those discussions. And, Oh, we'll, we can talk off that. Yeah. I apologize for not being at the last. Uh, hey, life meeting, happens. So. And we, we did talk about, I mean, if we want to try to prioritize items, mm -hmm. what you I see think that's a good is, idea. Yeah. Um, the know, bot, that bottom section that's numbered 1 through 13, those are priorities. They are. Okay. Okay. okay, thank you. That's good information. Was there anything else that was discussed on this list last time that people wanted to? With. Well, I think I, I think on the on the on the maintenance one here, the top one here, we're talking about the the curbing and the shed, and then down below, um, if they are indeed prioritized, we left on the window shades, knowing that they were a high priority for you, Tom. Probably that. <laughs> um, the replacement doors from the gym. I, I think one of the things that I'm that I'm very pleased to see is happening is that one of the things that it's on here is being able to lock off this corridor and be able to lock off the gym so that when there are meetings or the gym's being used, people coming in don't have access to the whole building. I think that's a very good thing to see, and that's and that's these doors and things that are coming in that would allow that to happen. Um, yeah, and, and I'm just wondering if we could even cut down, the, like just do the doors on the back side of the gym first, and not the ones up here, not the ones up here first. And so I don't know. I mean, I'm just throwing some of that out. So there's also a town initiative to um, have a recreation director for the town um, who would be in charge of the Camp Raleigh and there's some senior programming that's going on and I know that the rec committee expressed um, a lot of interest in using the gym space and more frequently um, with kind of that think then going even further. Better yeah. Um, so I think 
being that that seems to be something that the town is trying to do, um, I see a lot of really great opportunities for that and, and to working with the school and things. Um, I feel like the replacement dorms are kind of are important because I would like to see that. Because it would just fruition and make it more easier. Yeah. I agree. And it protects the school in that yeah. 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 Just, yeah. just so I'm clear on that top section, are we making adjustments or are we not tonight? Just so, just so we know what we're doing. Um, just because we're putting in that forty thousand dollars, I think to the water, and I think we need to. Yeah. All right. So I think it sounds like we have consensus on removing the shed. Something that we can revisit at the end of this year, if necessary. You're, you're looking for no more input. Fiscal year? Are we going to end of the school year or end of like December of 2020? Oh, oh no, I, I meant you know there, there are things that that you know at the end of the year sometimes we're going to surplus funds. Right, which don't was going to be my point. Go ahead. I had a question though. Where was this shed going to go exactly? I'm going to probably slide it right next to where I am the, the building right now. Okay. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna take away any parking or no, anything. affect parking at all. Yeah. And it would be twenty by what? what Probably about mean? twenty by ten. How does that compare it to the one that's out there already, size wise? It's twenty by twenty four by thirty. Okay. Thanks. And we built that with actually extended wall, so instead right. of seven foot it's a nine foot wall. Yes, higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shelving up. Uh, you have wood shelving in there. Where's yeah. the metal? Yeah. Wood shelving. Yeah. yeah. And, and, toy next time. and one of the things we discussed last time is that unfortunately the fans can't be stacked. They actually they take up a lot of floor space. Yeah, that's good. Because they're floor stands, and, and that that is going to save some room out there. Maybe not enough for all the props though. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I think that we will all admit we we've got a storage problem here. So uh, I don't. While I understand the, you know, it's a cost, um, I would really, like I fought for the, the cupola, you know, wearing Save the Cupola t-shirts throughout town. Build the um, shed. Build the shed, yeah. Um, I would like to see us seriously consider that and put that sort of a, in the high priority list come the end of the year, the fiscal year, so that we can talk about that again. You've already costed that out, I take it. You've already done all that. That's a pretty good estimate. Okay. I think that makes sense, but I also think it makes sense that if we do it, I think we need to look overall at storage for the entire building. Yeah, and, and, and so that we're not doing it piecemeal. Now, because we did one so recently, it looks like we're starting to do things piecemeal. And well, also keep in mind that if you had built a bigger shed out there, it would probably look it would, would be it, it would be mess. It would have been put put it there. It would have taken up some of our. Uh, <coughs> we to put something up. That was about as big as we could put without taking it away from from uh, other places in the, in the property. And that's that's and the one you're talking. The new the new one you're right. talking about. We have limited playroom <coughs> space now. Mm -hmm. All right. So so it sounds like we have consensus that that will come off this year's budget. Mm -hmm. Are we the curbing? What about the curbing? What do people feel about it? I, it? I mean, obviously, I mean, the idea is people drive over the, they, they pay no attention to where the hard top ends and the, yeah. It's up, it's $5,000. Um, and obviously it's not a, it, it's not a health issue, issue, it's not a safety issue, it, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a how nice a lawn do, lawn do we want to present, essentially. How nice, how nice an edge do we need more? It's what it sounds like. There are other opinions. So. Very grand post. <laughs> Everyone's going to come in and complain about <laughs> wrecking their cars. I, I, I did back into the mailbox one night out there. <laughs> and I, my car still has the mail. Oh, that's neat. I don't know. I, I feel that, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys aren't going to give me my shed. 
it, right no, now, I just feel it's a nice to have, and, and I, you know, it would, but. See, the difference is the shed's not a nice to have. The shed is something that we would absolutely fill, I'm sure, to the brim. The curbing, yeah, I, I get yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. guess you're right, as far as priorities go, probably the so, shed should come before. Yeah, I agree. Well, in that case, is there consensus that we remove the curbing from this year's? Budget from next year, excuse me, next year's budget. We are talking just that side of the building, correct? I guess. With looking into the future a little bit, are these, you know, are we going to have similar expenses? You know, we're, we're not going to have the $40,000 and the next time we come talk about a budget. Right. Mm -hmm. So do we say, you know what, we're going to put $40,000 towards a pipe this year and we just can't do the curbing and shit. Mm -hmm. And we hope that the next year we don't have some other random $40,000. It's an old building. Things will crop up, as we know. For but, sure. but on, right. the, on the other right. hand, <laughs> on the other hand, I think it's I think that, that it makes sense to remove things that we don't think are are they don't seem to move us forward. Right. That's how do. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah I, well, that's right. I, I mean, one thing is decorative. The other thing is for use. It's back to the shed. I know about the shed, but it, just hurt. that we just did the shed, so. <laughs> Why do we have so much stuff? That's <laughs> the question. Like, we've lived right. this long ago. Like, it's just, why is there so much more stuff now than there was, you know? Well, I think part of it was we may do. I know my house is like that too, right? But sometimes you have to just get rid of stuff. And you need a shed. I do have a shed. It's very full. Well, I would advocate for removing both of those items. I, I would agree I, I, at, at this point. At this point, and again, it, it, it's it's hard to be budgeting for a year out. Is the yeah. problem. Sorry, so again, by consensus on the curbing, is that yes. uh, is that true? Yes. All right, I'm good. So we'll be removing the curbing and removing the shed, which at this point saves us ten ten thousand dollars. Takes ten thousand dollars off. Of that I am going to come in here with a shirt that says. Build the shed. Extend the shed. And then as we look down below, um, so, so, and these are in priority order yes. down below, which is, which is good to know. Um, so I did, have a, I did have a question. I had a question on all the window shades. So this is replacing window shades on windows that sometime in the future will be replaced, correct? Correct. And, and maybe not even a long time in the future, maybe hopefully, because it's the old building pretty much. It's the yes. original building, correct? Yes. And so, by, by putting new shades on old windows, are we just uh, uh, creating an extra expense two years from now or a year from now when we, when we do get around to replacing some of those windows or, or not? Well, that would depend on what you really want to do with the window. The, the, shed, the, the shades that I'm looking at will fill the present opening yeah. all the way to the top as opposed to the ones we have now which just go to the top of the ceiling because the ceiling was dropped straight with the window so the 18 inch difference in the window because it wasn't properly um, the ceiling really wasn't properly put in it should have been angled up at the window and the shade would have come all the way down but we're talking about that side, that side of the window, and there are shades that are, there are no shades on this side of the window yeah. yet. So these are all going to be brand new ones. But these are all brand new windows, so so I so I feel really good right. about putting shades well, on. Well, I windows. have to say something else. I think it's all, it's not just the the look because it doesn't look like crap, but it's also the safety because those some of those folks have to climb up to close and open those those shades, and that doesn't seem like the you know, we don't want, you know, Miss Cook to, you know, do a header off of a, off of a, off a desk because she's trying to shut the shades down. And I looked at it, I'm like, I, I, this is, this is not, not good, so. 
the shades of looking at will be similar to the chain driven yeah. as we have in the gym. So those are the ones that would be going yeah. here. Mm -hmm. But as far as I know, that one, those ones over there, there were a couple that they had to basically climb up to to adjust. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of uh, peripheral uh, things in the way yeah. of the windows. Pretty soon, no fans, though. <laughs> Oh, you really are. No, no, I, 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 really, I, I like, I have, because I have, the, the, the explanation on why we need fans in the room is fabulous. We need a fan shot. <laughs> well, that's what we need it. now, but we're not going to need it. We're going to have lots of, we're going to have a, we're going to be able to sell the fans. We're going to have, we're going to have a fan sale. And we're going to make money. Money added revenue for the fans. <laughs> that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> all the window shades for ten thousand dollars are we going to have to we turn around and spend that ten thousand dollars again it won't be as much probably but you talk about replacing the, the shades, shades are or all the, windows. the shades right? well so these one are of the items is replacing the shades but right, right at some point we're talking about more window replacement well, when yeah is we that? cut that out of the last oh, okay oh, okay it was, it was <laughs> that was for the gym thousand dollars for the gym, for the gym. Yeah. yeah but but in, in, in the original building the windows are the original windows, I think. Yeah. No, they're not. That's right, that's right. They were, they were. But they're also, they're, they remain very heavy. They are also a safety issue, I believe. But they are very heavy. They're right? difficult to open and close in the original building. In the yeah, old building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, yeah. Yeah, I agree. And that's... But we haven't had any discussion, I don't recall there ever being a discussion about replacing those windows, at least not in this decade. Perhaps so. that's something as you become part of the building community. Yeah. You can bring back to us. I mean, I, I, mean, I agree that window, window shades are important. I mean, they're important for the sun coming in because we don't have this building heats up all of yeah. when, once the brick gets hot. And again, I really, I meant what I said about the whole safety thing. We don't want somebody getting hurt because okay. we're trying to close the shade. So, and it could happen. So. Fight. Fight. For that shed. Uh, can I just say, uh, on the internal doors for the annex hallway, are they going to, will, will those doors be placed beyond the bathroom so the bathrooms are available to uh, to, uh, okay, to the gym? Where, 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 where are we at now? The, the internal doors for the, the annex? Room. They will be on this side, just outside of this door in the library. So we'll, the bathrooms will be available to anyone using the gym. Yep, perfect. I just wanted to double check that. All right then. Uh, so, uh, any anyone else on on the on the other list here? Questions? So we're taking off the curving and the shed. Yep. Yeah. 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 But everything else on the we down here. Yeah, I know, but I. <laughs> Don't worry. Next year we'll get it's a all. She said. It's all. Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. So that was just. So you're taking ten grand off that. Yeah. We yes. we are. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Watch your pronouns. <laughs> you. We, we already did that. We discussed it. I yield the balance of my time. Thank you, Andrea. Who's going to want you? I yield back to the gentle woman from, uh, from Locust Street. Okay. But everything else, just so I'm clear, under maintenance repairs is staying. Everything else is staying. Okay. Some of us are taking a deep breath, but. Yeah. <laughs> We'll uh, let's uh, we'll, we'll 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 double check that before we leave the budget discussion. All right. Now we're gonna move on to discuss it. Are, you, are, you, are, you done? are we ready for page eight? Oh, page eight. Okay. I don't think anything else has changed since the last time, but. Just as the final questions, the, the yeah. transportation. You can see the adjustments that were made. Special Ed High School was a, a reduction. Uh, for transportation, um, and then again, not much on eight or nine. So. Yeah, it's all the same. So yeah. I did have a question on the, the transportation. I know that we don't have much of a choice or any choice that we contract with, but is that a, sort of a normal increase that you see from them? Yeah. This, so this is your year? next year is your last year of this contract. Okay. So next year we'll be going back out to bid for uh, okay. transportation. So this is the last year of the contract. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
special ed that we're going out for next year. So these are based right now. And we have, okay. But we only got one bid back, so we're going back up to bid for that to see if we can get more. So the, the transportation for field trips is on top of that administrative cost. Yeah, because this is strictly transportation. The other was more of like a registration fee than those types of things. Sure. Okay. So with that, if, if my math is correct, that's a reduction in your budget of thirty thousand eight twelve. Now you're going back to the first page. Okay. <coughs> Did you add in the water and sewer? I did. Okay. So instead of 22, it's 30. I did it the old fashioned way. So it's about an $8,000 difference. Let me show you. Yeah, it should be an additional 85 on there, right? Yeah. It gives 8,500. As we look back, yeah. makes up a little bit more for the loss of revenue. But not. Yeah. I will um, just again for informational sake um, the process that the budget committee went through last night with the um, budgets that we reviewed. We looked very closely at the actuals and compared the actuals to what's proposed mm -hmm. um, and looked at the trend there. Mm -hmm. So um, I think that's something that we should... I would just be forewarned, ours are going to look a little skewed because we made all those adjustments in the current year, so a lot of the lines we do not have actuals because they were all lumped together. So that's okay. going to be difficult. But, but I'll talk to that during yeah. our presentation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's we're, yeah. we're going we're gonna to tag team this, and, yeah. and we'll bring up why things are up, why things are down, what the reductions look like. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the la we'll hit on all of the large either increases or decreases, so yeah. that'll be pretty clear. And anything that we have history, I mean, we've got a brief history on, on some things, but yeah. as we go into, uh, you know, the next couple of years, we'll have a much clearer mm -hmm. history. We'll be able to right. do three, four years. Because like the supply lines, if you collapse them all together, you'd be able to see that actual, but you won't be able to individually. Right. Because they're broken out by department. Yeah. Right. We explained that last, last year, year that we were mm -hmm. going to detail it out yeah. for yeah. better transparency. Yeah. So. Can I ask a question before we shut this whole thing down? Were there any other things as far as maintenance and new projects and things that we just didn't consider for this year that were being discussed. Anything else that was on this list before it was kind of cut off? I mean, you mean before the board saw it? Yeah. Was there anything out there that, you know, because I think... Right. The only reason I bring this up is because, you know, this is the time where we should be, I mean, we don't want to spend the money, but sometimes we just have to spend the money. If there's something out there that we're, you know, was kind of bubbling under this list, it just didn't quite make it, that you're considering or you were thinking about or had priced out for consideration, was there anything else that was left off? I think when we met, we sort of prioritized. Right. You know, and I leaned on Dick to say, you know, these are the next things. You know, we finished a lot last year. We finished yeah. a lot over the summer. Mm -hmm. Plus, we also wanted to be reasonable, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because in the past, especially with, like, technology, I mean, I know every year I scream and yell that we should have, you know, if there's something that we're, you know, thinking about. Because, you know, I know this stuff becomes obsolete quickly. There might be something out there that the teachers feel would be a, a good, you know, opportunity for the kids here that we, you know, may have priced out, may have thought about, just didn't want to, you know, because it costs money. But if, in the case of these things, and, you know, I know it's, we're talking about curbs and sheds and shades, 
to make a song, herbs and soaps. And yeah, but, Tom, I mean, but it's I, like I just I think we're here now. We're talking about this. We're cutting money out of the budget. So is there something more that maybe we were thinking about? If you look at the list under the maintenance repairs, all but one or two are directly related to safety and security of this building. Yeah. That's what we focus on. Um, and, you know, once we got to a certain number monetarily, that, I mean, we covered just about all of the safety and security things that we had to discuss. I just would never want us to be afraid to bring something forward in our budget anytime that might be beneficial, that might be... A you know, absolutely, and I, I've been sort of light, but I, I'm serious that I think it would be very important to have a school board member, and I think you would be the excellent person, to become an official part of the, of, of, the, of, the, of, the of, of the building stuff, because one of the discussions um, that we had last time had to do, you notice that there's money in there for, the, for getting the ventilation system plan. That's just yeah. for the plan. Right. The system itself will be north of four hundred thousand yeah, dollars like to sure. do it. Yeah, it's an old building. But it, but that's the type of thing that we have to look forward to doing. And then four or five years after that, we have to look at doing the heating system. So it'd be great to have someone with your eye and concern for the building yeah. as a part of that, so you can keep it in front of the board. No, and, I, and that we're planning I, toward I'm it. Thrilled to do it. I think it would be you know nice to you know to see, you know, kind of get the inner workings, the nuts and bolts mm -hmm. of it. Uh, because there, I'm sure there's stuff that, uh, but I don't you know, get a sense that you guys feel as though you can't approach us with No, but I'm just saying, you know, we're, we're, we're concerned about dollars. Let's, let's call it what it is. Well, we're we, always conscious yeah, of dollars. Yeah, but there's a balance. But we cut balance. money out of this budget. I thought the, actually, I thought the budget was pretty good to begin with, but we've been running pretty close. You know, there isn't a lot of there's not a lot of fat here. It's really just pretty close. I mean, and we've cut out, um, uh, you know, a thousand here, eight hundred there. But when you're talking about a larger number, and you have additional things on here that you're thinking about, it just makes me say, you know, why not? You know, it, it's not as though the stuff, especially the shed. I know I'll get off the whole shed thing. But that's something that's useful. That's something that we would be using. It's not a, you know, we're not building a, a statue of rich out in front of the, not yet. the school. Not that's not yet. school. <laughs> <laughs> not a paper mache. No, I mean, it, 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 and I, it's good. And, may, and, and we may want to come back to it. Look, look, we should probably run through the warrant articles that we're, yep, that we're planning absolutely. on having and then, and then look. Um, see, see if there's anything else we want to come back to. I thank you for budget. just allowing the question, but it's just when we're looking at that number, I'm saying, you know, we made some reductions here, but this is stuff we want to really cut right out. No, and, and you're, uh, yeah, yeah. You've, been, you've been very good at getting us to a lot of different places. I am not a pot of I, I would like to say, too, in, in our defense, uh, last, last meeting we also did um, decide to add in the budget an extra day for PE. So. Oh, excellent. That's a great working idea. towards you and know that's outstanding. And whether it's actual PE or a way to work in uh, outside time if we need to hire people to yeah. do it for recess duty or whatever, you know, just great. just to, to allow for more uh, exercise. It, and yeah. it comes from one of our new yeah. one of our new um, policies that we that we have to be doing those kinds of things, and we should be anyway. So. Yeah. And I love that that has to do with like the education of the children. Yes. 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 I'm very yes. happy to put that yes. directly education of the children rather than keeping our lawn lovely, right? Though that's important too. I do have a question about the transfer to capital reserve yeah. funds being zero. So I, like, while I understand how it works, um, I don't <coughs> quite get the 7501 was the actual and the approved was 90. Yeah, so when you do the warrant articles yeah. and they pass, yeah. then it becomes part of your budget. So yeah. the following year, there was warrant articles for $75,001. It was uh, $1 to start the, the regular right. ed tuition account and then the money to go into the capital reserves. The current year was $97,000. It was to the tuition money for $22,000 and the money to go into the trust funds. Okay. So that's so the... It's not actual because we haven't spent it yet. Yeah, so it, when you get your budget updates in the current year, 
for, yeah. that, for this current year. Right now it shows nothing. We just finished our audit. Now I will make the transfer from our regular account into those trust funds. And so then you'll see an actual of 97000 in the current year's budget. Okay. For next year it's zero because the Warren article, they does not get added to your budget until the Warren article is passed because if they don't pass, then it, they don't go in. Okay, even though it says proposed. Yeah, because it's a Warren article. It. You don't put it in because it's a separate Warren article, just like your teacher contract's not included because it's a separate Warren article. Once they're approved, then they get added into your budget. Right. But do we have, wait, I'm going to run another one. But we have an estimate. All that's in there is your current staff at what they're making now. Right. So the collective bargaining agreement right. uh, would be on top of okay. that. So your budget right now is down and 32. And so our budget will change it will. when that passes. Right. If so whatever it, that amount is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Try to be positive. <laughs> Try to be positive here. So I feel like that. So when you look at your Warren articles, the budget will be one number. That's the amount they're going to approve for the budget. Then the, then the teacher's contract is another amount. Then these get to be another amount. Those yeah, get then added to your why. Mm -hmm. I was just feeling like it was a little inconsistent being that we have money in there for teachers, but so you don't. So we, you have current money. Right. So even if they're even if that war article doesn't pass, we still need to put this money we in. We pay the what they're currently. Whereas paying. if the transfer to capital reserve fund doesn't pass, then it's zero. Right. That's correct. Got it. Yes. That's correct. That makes sense. And those have no tax impact either because they come from right, right, right. money that's left over from the current year. Okay, that makes sense to me why those two things are treated. And that's why your revenue is also changing by the 97000 because that's the offset. Right. Right. Is that, it is, I find that confusing because it's yeah. almost an offset by a year. It's, all, it's It gets very confusing. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, you know, I, I think <laughs> that's totally clear. Right? Right? I was like, why is this treated this way and yeah. this one's treated this way? Yeah. But it totally makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. I gave it to you in your budget packet. You have the printout. Oh, mm -hmm. I think it's in your packet, too, tonight, too. For what? The Warren Articles. Yes, they're in the back of your budget. Yeah. In your budget packet that I handed, I, yeah. had you pick up? Yeah, yes. I know. Tom did not. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh there's only one in there right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. Yes, here it oh, is. No, <laughs> two. Oh, good, yeah, 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 Turn yeah, yeah, the page. Yeah, 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 so so yeah. He's stealing mine. I'm right. sorry, I've had a no ticket. I would have brought it with me. I didn't know you But he did make sure you did make a complaint. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. You can have a packet of your own. Don't yours. All right. So we still have about a half an hour. So we'll get, try to get through these orange articles. And, uh, if we get through them quickly, we'll go now. Only one school board member active. No, there's two. And they are. Oh, but I have to change that one to two. And they are Andrea and Aaron. Yes. Wow. I changed the. They are. They are. But I don't change the word. Andrea will not be rerunning. I'm sorry. What? Say. All right, well, thank you for that. Yeah. We'll, we'll thank you for We've that. We've heard that before. <laughs> we'll be discussing that. Okay, is that okay? We've heard that. Yeah. 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 All right. We need to. Until we commit to it. Okay. Right. No, no, it's, it's right. I, I, I under, understood. I think you've stayed on longer than you anticipated, but, and it's been all appreciated. <laughs> Tom can say that as the longest uh, reigning member. <laughs> he has reigning. He reigns. He reigns, man. So uh, the budget we've just been over, the default budget, which will also change now with the changes we've made. Um, so does everyone have that budget page? So as we turn the page, the collective bargaining agreement, we will be having a, a non-public, if we have time, maybe before our meeting, yes. and if, that if not after, before our meeting, to discuss um, where the negotiations stand, what we're doing there. Um, so we don't know what that is, but uh, I, we anticipate at this moment having one. Yeah, I just put in the language yeah. for now, and then we can add in the figures later. Beyond that, there were no uh, large. There were no article. There were no. Um, there was nothing we moved out of maintenance to a to a warrant article because we want to be able to do them if we have the money to do them. So yeah. so we, so Great. we chose not to move anything last time we met to a to a warrant article, and I think we're sticking with that. And so the other two are the are the 
other two that we had last year, uh, Article 7, which was the um, the regular education expendable fund, so that's for tuition. That's two, I put two kids in, I yep. didn't know what you wanted, but I put that as a place. Two is what we did last time, I believe, yep. which we give, this gives us four, it, yep. should it pass. Yep. And I adjusted it just a little yep. bit by the increase in tuition. So. Yep. Great. And then, and then we are continuing to try to build up our um, our building fund. We have not increased our sped no. fund, and that is currently at. I know you have it here. Yeah, it's at one hundred fifty-six thousand six hundred and five. Uh, and you know, we can look to Nancy or Bob to, um, to to say right now we we have not had to use it. We, we've never used it in my time on the board. I don't know if. It, We've never, so we've never had to dip into it. We feel that that's reasonable for now, but we would. Yeah, 156,000. I think that's that safe. I, I, it, I, I wouldn't recommend putting any more in right now. Okay, so that that we stopped putting it. I think last year or the year before. Yeah. So that sounds reasonable. Yeah. So, okay. All right. And then I left the building fund at 75. So I yeah. Sure. yeah. Uh, and I I would say oh, yeah. if, if we right have now. It, the building fund is 180100 However, I'm moving that 75000 in as well, so that will add to it. And remember, we are looking at some very big, some very big yeah. ones. Yeah. And then you'll have the $22,001 in the, the regular tuition capital reserve, right? that transfer is done. And that will, for the folks at home, require us to put a warrant to use. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. So that's just... Yes. It's really just us. For the building fund, yeah. not for the tuition fund. Yeah. That is under our control. So All right. So the last thing to discuss. And on then I also, I have not put, I did not put the SAU withdrawal on here. You notice it's not on here. We're waiting for. Right. We're waiting for language for from the attorney for that. So sorry, that will get course. added as well. I don't know yeah. where my head is. I actually woke <laughs> up out of a sound sleep over the weekend <laughs> and said, <laughs> "You're right." I did not put the SAU withdrawal on there. <laughs> Plus withdrawal. Yeah. So that will come too. We're just waiting for the language. And for those of you, we'll be giving an update at the beginning of our next meeting. But um, uh, the uh, we have a tentative agreement, a draft agreement with uh, Summersworth. And it has been included in the plan that got sent to the state. Yeah, I'm going to be speaking well, to that in regular meeting. Mm -hmm. I'll give us an update on that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Something else. Well, I don't. I don't know if we want to have this discussion or, or not. I. So one of the things we asked uh, Bob to do was to put together the cost of um, sending, <laughs> sending sixth grade to Marshwood next year. And I think he did a fabulous job with it, looking at this. Um, it's in the board packet. This is also on your agenda for your regular yeah. board yeah, meeting. I, so. I feel like we should have it there. Okay. Then we'll, then we'll put that off to the regular. Depending on board. depending on how that goes, obviously we can adjust the warning or yep. warn articles accordingly. So if you decide to go in that route, we'll put one on. If you decide in your meeting not to, then we'll move on. Okay. We can, we, we can leave it to that. I, I, I feel that I'm way premature to do that. Okay. Let me take Right. Okay. All right. In that case, then we will um, take a short adjournment while we go into the So just, I, I will make those adjustments. I will email the budget committee an electronic copy. Do you guys want to see it first before I send it to them? Do you want me to CC you when I send it to them? I know you wanted me to have it ahead of time, so I can do that. I think if, I think if you send it, it won't turn and CC us because then we'll have it. We'll have it. Yeah, yeah, we won't yeah, have to. We won't have to get an extra hard copy for a for okay. yeah. And then my plan was Wednesday. Monday get all the binders done and brought over to town hall for them to pick up in preparation for Wednesday's meeting. That's fantastic. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's been. I know it's been. A lot so going on. Tight schedule, too. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of an apology, good one for a non-meeting. Oh, good. Meeting. Bob's been, it, yes, it's always good to have the superintendent whispering in your ear. Oh, one more thing, too. I did email the attorney today, too, for them to be at our deliberative session. So oh, thank all set you. set up as well. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we are going into a non-meeting. So, so uh, I have mine now. He gave it back to me. Does so Tom want to get it? Yeah, Tom, do you want to do that? We'll be back at 6.30. We'll be back at 6.30. Yes. Yeah.
All right, we are, uh, we're, we're a few minutes past time, so we'll call the meeting to order, please, with a roll call. Judy Nelson? Yes. Tom Cooley? Yes. Emily Leach? Yes. Andrea Anderson? Yes. Eric Johnson? Here. Stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> comments by visitors to open the meeting. Any comments by visitors? I have a comment. I just have to say. Oh, Lori has. In reference to the shed, um, we do try to get rid of play props as we don't need them, but that money for those play props comes from REF, so we don't buy things lightly and to just be disposed of as the most part, we buy them to keep them to use them for another play. So it's not that since Amanda and Jean have done the play that we've just accumulated all of this stuff that we never use. We do try to use it over. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any, other, any other comments? All right. We will move forward. Um, consent calendar. Uh, right now, this it, it is our uh, budget workshop meeting session from last time, and our school board minutes. What is um, the board? What would the board like to do with the consent calendar? I accept. Oh, we have a, a, a one question on the minutes. Is it a correction or is it a question? Um, potentially both. All right. I have uh, the same. All right. Then we, which ones? With the uh, board meeting, the board, the budget. The, page three. the budget minutes, or we'll, we'll pull them out and discuss them. We'll put it down to discussion. Yes. It's the school November 14th school board budget meeting. All right. So we'll, we're going to remove the budget meeting, but leave in the. I have a correction for the the board meeting minutes. Okay. Is, is it truly so, just a correction? Do you have to just be um, emailed? If it's truly oh, okay. Just a if it's truly just a correction, it is. It doesn't the change name. the meaning. Correct. Just the wrong name. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, I thought I saw one too in the Okay. So the, the, the correction can, the correction can be emailed over. Um, no, to um. Um. Well, she emailed them to you, right, Bob? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you sent it to me. Yeah, we can change. correct them at the office. Yeah. Yep. All right, but we'll remove the uh, budget workshop, and we're going to move those down to under discussion. And so now. Um, a motion to accept the school board meeting minutes as uh, corrected. Second. Motion by Tom, second by um, Aaron. Uh, all in favor, uh, any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, announcements will start with, uh, communications will start with um, Dr. Gnomsky. Thank you. A few, a few uh, dates to start off with, and I see one of them is at the at the end. But for budget uh, presentations <coughs> on December 11, 6:30 is the budget presentation to the budget committee. Um, January 12 is your budget hearing scheduled for 9 a.m. Is it 12? Or the 11th. The 11th. The 11th. It's Saturday. Oops, sorry, did I have the wrong date? It's a Saturday, the 11th. January 11th. No. Budget hearing January 11 at 9 a.m. Uh, and we've got February 4 for the deliberative session at 6 p.m. So just a couple of dates to, to keep in mind. Um, as you know, we did have two snow days, um, coupled with the one loss of a day for loss of electricity. So we're at three days so far that we're adding on to the end of the year. Uh, I've been in touch with the bus company and we're viewing a number of bus stops for safety as the snow banks start climbing a little bit. One in particular is the, the stop right downtown by the mills. Um, to, uh, actually, I'm going to try to get over there tomorrow to review that one and see where the snow banks are and see if it's still safe for the bus to get in there and turn around. It's, it's, it's a little cramped, uh, but we're That's reviewing cramped. those. Um, a reminder that we have the SAU board meeting uh, next Monday, December 9 at 6.30. That's with the budget hearing as well as the public hearing as well as the board meeting. So an important one for board members to uh, put on the calendar. 
uh, and the withdrawal plan that has been completed. We have a contract with uh, to do the services with Summersworth that's been included in the plan that's been submitted to the state and it's on their agenda for the state board meeting on December 12th. I'll be going down to that in case there are any questions that they may have but they have the plan and the contract and everything all together so hopefully that will move through fairly quickly on the 12th. Um, and that's all I have for tonight. So with that coming in on the 12th, we would have to, we need to finalize warrants and everything. It gives us time to finalize warrants. But we will need a meeting. I think, I think we do. Yeah, we meet January 9th, so we have time to finalize all that stuff at our, at our next meeting. Okay. Yep. Double checking the timing of it all. Yeah, we'll, we'll rough in a, uh, as soon as I get the language from the attorney, we'll rough in a warrant article uh, and have it ready. And if that goes successfully on the 12th, which I anticipate it will, then we'll have that ready on the warrant article. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Anything further? That's all I have. That's quite a bit. Thank you. Um, principal's update? Um, my report's a little bit short. As you may have noticed, the was due six days after our last <laughs> meeting. <so laughs> um, but just to highlight a couple of things, we did have student led conferences in between meetings. Um, students prepared um, their portfolios, some did uh, PowerPoint presentations, um, some had binders at work, and um, the uh, conferences were really well attended. Um, I've heard a lot of positive feedback from parents as they were coming to the hall checking out it. So another year of those finished, um, very well attended. You know, not everybody comes, but um, for the most part, we get a majority of um, parents to come and listen to the kids about what they're learning. Um, we, due to the snow days, we uh, postponed our Lions Club with the vision screening for our students each year. They're supposed to come on Monday, but they'll be here tomorrow. Um, something that's pretty beneficial. It's a free service that they give to us. Um, it gives us screening for kids, and if there's anything that pops up, then we send home reports to parents and let them know that something might be of a concern that they can set an appointment with their vision specialist. Um, the other thing that was postponed was um, we do math assessments each year, a couple of times each year. Um, Tracy Sager, um, as you know, was our math consultant for a number of years, and um, our teachers do a math assessment that really digs into how kids solve problems and what their thought processes are in solving, so that they have an idea of you know, what skills that they have and what skills that um, they might need more work on during math classes. Um, it really taps into the kids' thinking and problem-solving skills. So they've completed all the assessments. Um, one of the things that Tracy did with us last year um, was have a follow-up meeting with the teachers to review the data and you know, sort of see what the patterns are, um, see if things change from grade to grade. So um, Deb Nichols has been trained pretty well from Tracy Zager and Lindsay Lanzer job shadowed her um, yet last year when she was here, so the two of them are going to facilitate those meetings tomorrow for us. Um, and the teachers are looking forward to you know, having that time to collaborate and you know, look at student work and that. Um, the other thing is that just sort of a clarification, I've been sort of holding off on this, but there's been a lot of talk about um, science and what do we teach for science. And, um, how often do you have science classes? We don't particularly call science science here. Um, you know, our, the philosophy that a number of years ago turned into an inquiry based learning, and through inquiry, we cover all subject areas. And a lot of our science classes, per se, um, come through inquiry lessons. Um, just some examples in my year and a half here. We've had kids in the river, um, you know, looking at, at you know, different species and categorizing species, um, collaborating 
you know, older students with younger students. Um, we've had kids do studies on ecosystems. We've had, um, I've seen a couple of weather lessons in my travels around the building. I know Mr. Conti is um, preparing some um, lessons around electricity and how electricity works and how it's conducted. So we do a lot of science. We just don't call it science. Um, so there's, I just want that, you know, clarification out there that, you know, it's not that we don't do it. We just don't call it science. We, you know, it's part of what we do here, and um, it's sort of steered, you know, into interest areas. And sometimes they'll start a whole unit on one thing, and the kids' interest will take off on another topic completely, and that's what they'll go on to next. And uh, the learning that happens, I think, is just as valuable as if we set aside 45 minutes a day to teach science and, and use a textbook. And, you know, the value in their learning is so much more beneficial here than I've ever seen in a science classroom or elementary schools. So I just wanted to put that out there. That's great information, especially coming from you being new, coming into the situation. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you had reservations, but you don't know, so that's great. Yeah, and I didn't have reservations. I just held off based on some of the comments with, you know, the sixth grade uh, decision making and that, you know, on the start coming up, and we had a few come up during student-like conferences and teachers coming to me expressing concern that, you know, we teach science, we just don't call it that. So I, I thought this might be the appropriate time to make a public statement on their behalf. It, it is appreciated, and I think it's also, and I'm sure it happens from time to time, to take the opportunity when someone says, wow, it was so easy to, to climb up this ramp, rather than going up the ladder and say, yes, science, <laughs> physics. You know, it's, a, it's great to have someone just say, oh yeah, guess what that's due to. And uh, I'm sure that happens from time to time. You don't feel like, Thank you, it is good to get that. Anything further? That's all I have. Thank you. I'm gonna. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna stop for just a minute and um, just acknowledge that a uh, a man who served this town for over four decades, maybe five decades, Ed Jansen, died last week, um, and his claim to fame, I think, right now for for the immediate for the Rollinsford School District, is that two years ago, he really he saw the value of the teacher's contract, of the collective bargaining agreement. He saw the value of the teachers taking a lower um, uh, health plan, which saved the town a great deal of money, and he was instrumental in getting that collective bargaining agreement passed that year, which allowed all of our teachers to be on the proper step where they belonged. I mean, they, they, but, they, but they also gave a value to the town, which he, as an economist, said, we're going to realize those savings year after year after year, and he swayed the budget committee and that collective bargaining agreement passed after six years of no collective bargaining agreement. So uh, we as a district owe him that, uh, his thanks for that. He'll be missed. And now we'll move forward, and uh, Josie is here uh, representing all the students, apparently. Uh, Nick couldn't make it tonight. Apparently Nick is celebrating his 18th birthday wow. this evening. <laughs> I got word in a roundabout way saying, if Nick should make it, <laughs> it's his 18th birthday. birthday. <laughs> so mm -hmm. anyway, wow. apparently because you were very happy to have you. Um, and so do you have a report for us from, uh, from your from your uh, from Well, I know the band and chorus winter concerts are coming up. The chorus concert is Monday, and the band concert is next Friday. Um, the middle school musical is starting up. The first meeting was yesterday. I know basketball is also happening. There's a newspaper club that was started recently, and they asked the 8th grade for new ideas. And I think they might have asked the other grades, too. Um, there's a dance tomorrow, and, um, and that's what, um, the district play just finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of problems for kids. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
the distant musical ended, I think, a couple weeks ago. Um, the Friday before winter break, the eighth grade is doing a community service day where we plan and help out with activities for the third graders from Central School. And, and there's a food drive every day this week for a different theme. So there's a lot going on. Yes. Did you did you put any suggestions in for the name of the newspaper? I did. And uh, when will you know if your suggestion wins? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? <laughs> and what is the middle, middle school musical? Um, we will go on junior. Awesome. Oh, there's a junior age version. That's pretty good. Any other questions for Josie? Did you find out what's going on? How do you like the middle school? It's very vague. It's <laughs> slightly overwhelming. Yeah. It's very different from here because you move classes and rooms. But I feel like most people adjusted fairly well, fairly quickly. That's good. Good day again. Now, Josie, you are, of course, welcome to stay for the entire meeting. You can see how exciting it is. <laughs> and, um, but we also know that you're a very busy uh, young woman. And so uh, you are also free to leave. And believe me, most of our student reps just get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> so you won't be you won't be upsetting us if you get up and leave. So, but thank you very much for being here this evening. Thank you, Joe. Thank, thank you, Joe. Thank, thank, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, that's right. Early morning. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good to see you. Bye -bye. All right, discussion items. We have removed the uh, budget uh, work session minutes, so we'll go back to the, we'll go to those for discussion. Yeah, I have a question on page three of the first full paragraph. It's in the middle of, I, I think we're talking about the, um, putting the new Buying from the from the road to the school here, and it says in the middle of that paragraph, the question was raised to increase the expense to four comma five zero zero zero, and I wasn't, and I'm assuming that was forty five thousand. No, it was no, forty five thousand for the water and sewer usage line. It's four thousand dollars. For the water and sewer utilities, utilities. and yeah. I'll agree. Okay, thank you. I was like trying to figure out whether the pipeline was supposed to go from forty to forty five thousand or what we no. increased the utility line by seven hundred dollars yeah. to forty five hundred. And, thank and you. we increased it again tonight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That was my it's a good understanding. question. Okay. So it's really just an extra zero always added. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I wasn't at the meeting, so I was yeah. reading this to get up to date and I was like, oh, that was. Okay. Yeah. Good. Anything yeah. else? No. So my then, question about yeah, oh yes, these yes. minutes, mm -hmm. um, Andrea and I were in attendance, mm -hmm. uh, and That's it looks right. like all of the comments are attributed to me. And I don't disagree with any of them, but I think I know. I was, I was like, like, "Wow, I said a lot." I actually, <laughs> I thought I actually <laughs> spoke, but I was. I didn't so, want to like. I don't know if we. I was thinking the exact same thing. To uh, correct that, like I don't. I mean. <laughs> I definitely didn't say all these things. And I don't and, disagree with that. And it's true that we can't go back and um, figure out who said what, right. well, unless we look at the film. But, um, and she has it on Katie, too. Yeah. And, uh, also, Katie's last name is spelled wrong throughout. Oh. Yeah. Right. I, was, I was thinking that, too, but I didn't. I didn't know if I needed to say, I think I said some of these things, but... Yeah. Well, it's, 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 <laughs> I think I, I think okay. I know the ones that I actually said, so I don't know if it's helpful if I just send that along. I think that if, as long as the content is accurate. That's in the um, policy. It doesn't have to say exactly <laughs> which of us spoke. It's accurate really? the content. If, okay. the, if the content is accurate, if you can just email me the ones that you think you should be in, I'll just push that. Okay. Yeah. And I'm okay. As long as you don't stick me to something, something to get mad at me. Well, that's like a very controversial. Rather than having someone go back and listen to this. Yeah. No. I can. Yeah. I can. And and another possible correction is simply to change any of the last names: Kavanaugh, Anderson, which apparently isn't in here, and Nelson. Just to say board. No, you were here. Just to say board member. Just to say board member. 
Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's true too. So we know it's not. We know, we know it's not Bob. We know it's not. I think that's fine. Yeah. Um, there wasn't. That's funny that you noticed that too. <laughs> okay. I was like, we can, we can I think I think that that, that that way we're covered for everything, and no one has to figure out exactly what. Another cup of coffee. Okay. That's good. Good, good catches, folks. You were busy. <laughs> And, and as you know, I mean, we're um, because of um, because of because of uh, a usual minute taker not being available, people are, are scrambling to fill in and they're doing a good job. Yeah. But they, don't, they don't know us as well right. as uh, some other people do to get it, so it's perfectly understandable. And we're sitting right next to each other yeah. as well, mm -hmm. so and being over there, yeah. over there, yeah. But I know you all, so that's right. Yeah, you know us all. Anyway, it was much appreciated. I, I thought yeah, uh, a good job overall was done on the notes. All right, uh, so let's go back and um, and I'll take a motion to accept the um, uh, uh, board budget workshop work session minutes um, uh, as as corrected. I move to accept the board budget workshop <laughs> minutes as amended. Second from Andrea. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. All right. So now the uh, budget discussion for next year. We just had our uh, our workshop. Um, so I don't think we have anything further to discuss on the operating budget there. We did not have a current year update, I think, because of the time. The timing we moved so quickly here. Nothing has so, changed so from your meeting. That's yeah. what I assumed. Um, so I will just say your audit was completed, and there. Were, I think did I mention that last time? <coughs> you might have said that. Yeah, it was, but it was in the works. Last okay, time. everything was fine. No issues. No, okay. no findings. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll go forward. Uh, we have no policies to read for the first time, and we have second reading policies which are the video and audio surveillance on school property, minutes, and public comment and participation at board meetings. I would just like to express my joy at the fact that the policy doesn't say any longer that we will retain video until they are erased. <laughs> <laughs> really thrills that we actually have an end of school year deadline <coughs> for that. Yeah. Good change. <laughs> Any further discussion on the uh, on the policies? They look good. All right, then we can accept that. We might as well accept them as a group, but just you can just say uh, I, I think uh, the policies included in the second reading section. I make a motion we accept the policies from the second reading. Second. We have two seconds. I think Emily beat Aaron uh, yeah, oh, yeah. by, by one second. Tom, no, first. No, she says everything, everything in the minute. Oh, yeah, well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, actually, your whole thing about the video. <laughs> That's right. It. That's right. <laughs> uh, any further discussion? No. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, warrant articles discussion. We discussed. Um, we discussed all the ones that, were, that are going to go on and, and remember some that we've forgotten. The withdrawal, I think. Thank you. Um, so I, I, I don't think there's anything else on that. If people want to. Oh, yes. yeah. Could we talk about the, the one article? I was wondering on the, uh, the one about the monthly. We yes, that? we're, uh, we're going to do that under old business, uh, grade okay. six to monthly discussion. Okay. We'll do it under that. Okay. If that's all right? Yep, that's it. Because that's, that's next if we don't uh, yeah. discuss any of these. Okay, mm -hmm. moving forward. All right, old business. Um, so, grade six to monthly discussion. So, one of the things that Bob provided was a very good, uh, I think, cost breakdown. People have seen that, I yes. think. Yes. Um, it was in our packet. Page twenty-one. Yeah, I, th I thought it was very uh, thorough um, with the projected number of students. With 
So what it would cost to send sixth grade uh, next school year. The cost, the, the, the savings, the anticipated, and again, a, a lot of it is unknown. Uh, particularly special education, which is based on what we know today, not on what is going to happen next year. But the, um, but the cost that if we as a school board were doing it, and, and the cost that we would recommend that would be part of the budget, should we do anything with it, is $363,521. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the tuition, sorry, sorry. So sorry, so sorry. Yeah, can you subtract So sorry, I forgot. 326. 350, yeah. So I'll now go through it a little bit so we understand it. First, I'm going to deflect the credit for the clarity to Katie. She did a great job of putting this together, so I appreciate that very much. Um, to start off, uh, we started with the tuition rate, and obviously we, we have uh, projected 27 students. Uh, it's based on the current fifth grade, and we added four because we've already had at least two say that they are uh, <coughs> that don't presently go to Rollinsburg that would put their children in. So we felt that we needed to include um, a buffer there, if you will, uh, a reminder that if that's not covered, then it comes out of your school, it comes out of your local budget. So. We felt that we needed to cover that um, sufficiently. Special ed tuition, again, is off of, of the snapshot in time that we presently have um, with the appropriate number for that. So if you put all of the tuition together, <coughs> it comes out to $363,000 um, for tuition. And that's just um, the snapshot of the current fiscal are uh, Correct. Yeah. Okay. Correct. And, and remember, this... These numbers are for ne a guesstimate for next year. That doesn't include the year after, the year after yet. I mean, every year it's going to be um, in this ballpark, depending on, on enrollment. Um, from that number of $363,000, uh, we calculated in uh, $71,700 for an additional bus, because not only do you have to calculate in the numbers of bodies that are going on the bus, you have to also calculate in the time that they're going to be on the bus as well. So to be safe, again, we, we put that in there as well. Um, we then reduced one classroom teacher because obviously we've got a grade level that's leaving, so we could reduce that teaching position as well as one paraprofessional position, and that reduced from that figure $108,607,000. So from that, if you add all of those up and then take the reduction off there, the total figure for next year uh, that would we would recommend would go on the warrant article would be $326,650. So if, if there is a warrant article that is presented, um, that would be, in my mind, the appropriate figure for the time. Just a reminder that that's for next year and, and every year thereafter, um, you know, it would be a similar additional amount. And it would be in the default budget at that point. Yes. So we would, thereafter, we would be that's obligated correct. to pay that. That's correct. I feel strongly that this is, that, that it's pretty mature. <laughs> I think the day will come when we have to send, when, when we are likely to send our sixth grade to Marshall. I, I feel strongly that that day will come. But it's premature, and, and I, 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 would, I would not feel comfortable asking the town to spend another $325,000 this year, next year, possibly even the year after, so close to a hundred, uh, close to a million dollars um, to send students that it's not necessary to send them yet. And I think as a board we need to um, try to be responsible. I mean, we heard from the educators that was an even thing. Other things that enter in would be space needs here. We're doing okay. I think we haven't heard that we're really pressed for space, which would be a reason 
to, to yeah. send to sixth grade. Uh, that's not happening yet. So again, we're it, it, there's nothing pressing to do it. Um, so that's my feeling. We will, we might, however, face a petition warrant article, and I don't know how all that works. So. Because you know they, we, we would we would want you know, it, 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 I, and I don't know what would happen in that case. So I have a little bit of information on that too. Okay. So and and and, and please, other board members, jump in. But I, that, that's my that's my feeling on it. I agree. I'm concerned that if there is a petition warrant article that doesn't have the appropriate dollar figure attached, that's my concern. Mm -hmm. Could, could what, what kind of situation would we be in if someone came forward with a petition for an article and had incorrect? Um, with the fifty thousand on it, or whatever. Well, I asked our, our and it was voted. I asked our attorney a number of questions because obviously this could there could be a lot of different scenarios yeah. here. Um, so just some of the questions I I, I asked the attorney. Um, one was. If, if the school board decided to create a factual warrant for this and put it on there, could you then not support it? And the answer was, yes, you can. So you could do a factual warrant and then the, the not support it on the on the, on the um, school board. Is not. <laughs> right, that's a possibility. Um, if there are competing warrant articles and sometimes contradictory warrant articles, because if it's a petition warrant article, uh, then the last one on your warrant would basically rule the day because it would be, con if it's contradictory to the one that's before it, it would be considered a reconsideration of that article. So the last, it's very important on how you order the warrant. So that was, that was an interesting bit of feedback. Um, and then I asked if it would be a binding um, warrant article and the the attorney said that ultimately it's up to the board authority as to where you place your students. Um, you've already got a contract in place with Marshwood that, that says that that is an opportunity, that contract has been passed. So ultimately the decision, final decision whether there's a warrant or not, um, whether it passes or not, is up to the board. So even if there's a petition warrant article with the appropriate amount of money in there, uh, and it passes, it's still up to the board to decide to do that. So much ultimately, the, if you had a board, if you had, because you're talking about dueling warrant articles, so if you had a warrant article that was correct, you had one that wasn't, the one that was correct failed, the one that wasn't correct passed. Yep. It because still, the funding is not there, because it's incorrect or it's just ridiculous. If somebody could put twenty dollars on it for all we care, and it would pass. You're saying that we're still not bound. You're still not bound, correct? Yeah, that's the, that's correct the figure. That's the feedback that I'm getting, whether it's right or wrong. You're still not bound with that. And, and you know, an example might be something similar to that. Might be, let's say that. Um, the, there was a uh, petition warrant article to add, and I'm just making this up, to add three new teaching positions, and the warrant passed. That amount of money then would be in your budget, but it's up to the board to decide whether you actually need to fill those three teaching positions or not. You're not bound by that. So, um, the other question that I asked was, what if the number on the petition warrant article is incorrect and that can be amended at the deliberative session? So if someone were to make a motion to amend that number to what should be the appropriate number, the deliberative session, the body at the deliberative session could amend that number. They could. They don't have to. They don't have right. to. They, they could. On. Right. So those are just some of the questions that I asked. So anyone can come forward and without inc with incorrect information and the uh, With the appropriate number of signatures, yes. But that's why I think it's important for us to, to get the appropriate information, like tonight with the cost 
food sheet out there because that's that's as close as we can get it, reasonably get it. Obviously, if you have a number of, of students in the summertime in that particular grade level move in or out, that would that would change it. But um, you know, that's about as close as we can get. Yeah, and so we put say three hundred twenty-five thousand aside for this, and a bunch more students move in, and it ends up costing four hundred. We're going to have to find that somewhere. Correct. That extra seven. Just, just like any other. Right. Students that may move into the high school, um, yeah, it would it would either come out of your reserve that you're putting in place for that, or more likely coming out of your budget, which for all intents and purposes is RGS. Never mind the fact that it jacks up any per pupil price here. One yes. one misconception is that. Uh, people are people look at the per pupil cost of a student here at Rollins Ridge Grade School, and if we take 27 students out, then you can take that per pupil out and offset the tuition. That's incorrect because right. your facilities still stays the same, your administration stays the same, your your instructional staff absent from that one teacher and pair that we're reducing. Everything on the footprint stays the same, so you can't just take your pure pupil and transfer that over and, on, and say that you're going to offset the cost. It doesn't work that way. Uh, I mean, and again, another reason to delay would be to build up our, our tuition uh, uh, fund uh, uh, for, so, that, so that if we are way off <coughs> when we move sixth grade, it's um. It's tough. I mean, based on some of the things we've heard, we, we may be facing a, a petition uh, warrant. But I think, as Dr. Gadamsky said, I think it's important, now that we have something that's really clear, um, I think it'd be important to start getting that information out. Yes. And, I, and I don't know how the board feels about, you know, I, I just feel it's premature, but it, 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 it's up to the board whether or not we, we think it's the right time. Well, I'll just make this comment. We had the meeting. We asked folks to, to come to it. We had educators show up talking about the different things. <clears throat> Personally, I don't think this is going to go away. And that should never be the reason why we, we put a, a warrant on it. But I think that now that we have the dollars, I mean, I've done the research. I don't, I'm not sure our reasons or the reasons you're giving are, are good enough to not put the warrant out there. If we get a warrant that says $150,000, you're right, we could just say, no, this is, we're not going to abide by this. I'm not sure how this is going to go over. I also... Yeah, I mean, yeah. in that circumstance, I would say that's not really a choice. We're not going to abide by that. That is a budgetary restriction. But we literally can't the, abide by they come by to the thing. board, right? let's say they go to the yeah. deliberative session. I'm just... Yeah, yeah, no, out. I hear you. They go to the deliberative session. They're like, well, you know, we, we found out that the cost for this is going to be 360 or whatever. Yes, $326,000. Okay, we're going to vote, and it's going to move forward to that. You know you're going to get enough people there. There's going to be this outcry to, to do this. We put this before the voters on, on as a warrant. First of all, the sticker shock is going to be enough. We're, we can't even get a teacher's contract passed yeah. for a fraction of this, and now we're, we're going to put this forward. So tell me how this looks and feels when it's staring somebody in the face. Now, I'm not saying one way or another whether, whether it's the right thing to do. I think we have to put a warrant on with this. We, we were 
asked by the town last year to investigate this. The warrant that was on last year was completely inappropriate, right? The people that put that together really didn't have a clue as to how it was going to impact because there was no dollar amount attached to it. You can't just tell people, we're going to pay for this, but we're not going to tell you how much it's going to cost. So that's why it was non-binding. It was investigated. So we did that. I don't know as there's a really good reason not to put the warrant on. What is going to be the answer next year? Because we're going to be answering that question next year. Is the cost going to be down next year? No. It's probably going to be higher. So if we're concerned about, you know, we're giving the town information. We provided them with that meeting, which... Um, you know, I think there was a lot of good conversation. But, you know, they're asking us to do something. We did the work, and it's now, now in a way, it's like, well, we still don't want to do it. We have the costs. If this is a situation where we're either going to, if we don't do it this year, I'm not sure we're going to have an excuse or a reason to do it next year. What's going to change? I guess well, that's my point. Well, what is really is, going to change? I think if the numbers are such that you know we're not able to support that many children here, perhaps it would be a motivating factor for that, or perhaps other reasons. But um, I, I, we're going to go on no, more. No. I did have a question. Are we going to add um, the tax impact to that foreign article? Well, you, you would list the warrant articles as you would list any other warrant article. And, and in, the, in the information that we would do for the deliberative session and for the budget hearing, then yes, that would, we would do a tax impact like anything else. But it would, be, it would be explained and listed as any other warrant article. Okay, so there would be... See, and I think that's key here because yeah, all of this conversation that. That we've, that's been going on there's never a price tag. This is like showing somebody a new car, not telling them how much it costs. This is telling them exactly how much it costs based on our educated, you know, our calculations right now. I, I just don't know how we explain just putting it off. We've been talking about this for a year since since the warrant was came down and People wanted us to look into it. So now we've looked into it. I'm just saying it's pretty much a, okay, here's your price tag. Here's how much it's going to cost you. Now it's up to you. Because they'll never want this warrant to come up again. Ever. Um, I agree with you, Tom. I think that we have to, we have to, put it on there and say school board does not recommend. Well, that was my next question. That was my question. Do we all agree that this is not something that we I would recommend? I definitely don't recommend it, but I think that this has opened up a good conversation. Many of the people who I talked to who voted for the, uh, the petition weren't in favorably didn't understand that this is a price increase. The word on the street was, you know, cost per pupil, subtract that number, and it's going to save us money. Right. Um, so that's one misconception that, that we need to um, deal with. And by doing this, we would put that out there. And then there are the other factors which are equally important, but we've started that conversation. What can we do at RGS exactly. now to address some of these concerns? Some of them are very valid and we've already started talking about, for instance, increasing um, a day for PE or some kind of um, active time. Um, and I think that we can continue to do that in a, in a cost responsible way. Um, so it's not just shutting the door on the entire conversation, it's keeping the conversation going but being realistic about, about the cost. And it's, it's, but I think with the number of votes that we, that came in for the warrant last year, we have to do something. Yeah, I agree. And you know what else? It, you know, you and I are in the same boat. 
both our daughters are going to be in that same grade at the same time. So, and I would love to see Morgan finish here. As I brought up at the sixth grade forum, you know, and we were talking about it earlier in our budget about, you know, we're really, you know, we're cutting costs, we're doing what we can, but, you know, if we want to take some of the stuff that we heard, like you, you mentioned, you know, the extra day of PE, that's a, I mean, that's an excellent start, but there should be a host of other things that we want to say. You know, we're, if you want to sell something, it's got to, got to stand out. What are we going to do? What are we going to do to take it to the next level? The folks that talked, granted, there were a lot of people there that didn't have kids that were going to be impacted at all. Their kids were gone. But there were a few that are going to be impacted. And my daughter's going to be one, so is Anne. So for, for us, you know, what would we want? I mean, and what does that look like? But I would say that we don't really have a lot of time. We shouldn't be, it shouldn't be a, this long, tedious process to say, what are we going to do to make those improvements? You know, based on what we heard, and some of the things I agreed with, I really like, I'd love to see some of these things here. So what are we going to do to say, you know what, we don't really need to send them somewhere else. We can do these things here, or do some of these things here. So we have to offer something. It just can't be, this is going to cost you a king's ransom to send them there. But we can do some of these things here, and here's what we can do. But it's going to cost money, and I said that at the meeting. And that's one of the problems with this town, is, you know, we, we like to cut corners here and there, but is, does that make sense? And maybe it, it does require a little more investigation on what that is. But I don't think that is, in and of itself, an excuse to delay that vote, delay that decision. You put a, a warrant that large in front of people, that's going to turn some heads. You're right, Aaron. People didn't know what the heck this was going to cost. They thought it was going to be a savings because, oh. Well, and I think some people voted, some folks that I've spoken to voted yes, only to say, yes, we should, we should look into it. You know, that was really... I um, heard that too. Yeah. I, I thought this was to explore. I didn't realize it was that we're going to do this. Yeah, yeah, and then the confusion when we had other parents come up to us saying, I didn't know we were sending the kids this September. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> but I also feel that we didn't hear from a lot of... I, you know, I feel like there was a very small number that want like definitively want to send their kids. Everyone else I think is still like, oh, you know, I'm thinking about it and, um, you know, weighing the options. And um, so I, I don't feel it was a large percentage of, I mean, if, even if you talk in the 26 or 25 students, if for just if you talk one year, next year's class, yeah. I don't feel we may have heard from three. I can only I can't even say if, if that actually. I I feel too like something that I feel has been somewhat consistent throughout the discussion is that there's a misconception um, about the offerings here at Rollinsford Grade School versus the offerings at Marshwood Middle School. I agree. Yeah. Um, for for sixth example, graders. For sixth you know, graders. Yes, the athletics that reportedly happens to sixth graders, I can tell you having had two children go through that, there was not a single sixth grader on any athletic team that they were on. And, you know, gym is offered as an elective course, so you may not have that at all a whole year. You know, my, my younger son's eighth grade year, he was not able to take a gym class that whole time because he chose to take a language and he was in the band. So, you know, here at Rollins for grade school in sixth grade, he was in the band, he was in the chorus, he was in the play, he played sports. You know, so I think, or, I mean, he had PE, and he played rec sports through Marshwood. Um, but I, I feel like yeah, I that's been really, it's kind of been bothering me that there, there seems to be a misconception. Like, we have a tech group here that both of my 
children took part in for years. Yeah, well. They went to Marshwood. They did not take part in a tech group. It's the, it's a choice, you know. And I and I feel like there's um, a real misconception about uh, about the offerings in both places. And um, so I th I think there's an importance in getting that type of information out too, not just the financials of it, um, because I I. I think there are some real academic and and growth benefits that happen here that don't happen there. So, so I'm hearing I'm hearing a, a couple things. Uh, I'm hearing that it sounds like um, the majority of us are interested in a, a similar warrant to the one that, that Bob uh, put, put together for us to look at as an informational warrant, but with the caveat that the school board does not recommend. It, to, to get all the information out there, I'm, I'm hearing that. But you, you can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I truly believe that, you know, based on my experience in dealing with you know the town and the boating over the, the last ten or so years, I believe that the cost for this will drive many away because I really don't think any of them in town because the information, like you said, was just, was just, there was none. There was no information regarding cost. I think a lot of them, this will be extreme sticker shock. They'll have no clue what the, what this is about and they'll, this can't be the same thing we voted on last year. Um, and I think it's, you know, we've done our due diligence in putting together the, the actual numbers. Um, I mean, for heaven's sake, this town wouldn't pay for a fire truck that costs that much. They wouldn't. They, they fought it tooth and nail. Imagine what they'll do on something like this. This will be a, a very interesting fight because you're going to have a lot of people who don't have any children in school who are voting for this. They're going to... I just, I don't see it. Well, I think it's very important to get all the information out there. And the Absolutely. other thing I'm hearing is that the important, that the next, that as important as putting this in front of the public so they can see it, is is getting real information out. Absolutely. Um, and and we struggle with that. <laughs> we'll we'll continue. So so go ahead. to say the words out loud. Um, I'm a little bit on the fence about putting this on, on as a part article. Um, I, I, I agree with you guys on, you know, the angel and the devil. Um, but the other part of me Nervous. is thinking that first, you know, that, that also we are elected officials and we are elected to do what we think is best for the community, the town, the students, the school, you know, like all of those things together. So that's one thing that I'm kind of is making me think maybe it's not a good decision to put this on. Um, and then the other thing that's making me hesitant is um, the fairly significant misinformation campaigns that have gone out in the past um, to try and discredit things that the school board puts forth. Um, and that concerns me because I think that there are, you know, there are people who will not trust this number. And mm -hmm. I feel, I, my, I, I am concerned that if, you know, some misinformation campaign gets out there that says this is baloney and it's really only going to cost a hundred, pass it. And when it only costs a hundred, they're going to be given that 226 that's left back to the town, right? I. I, w I worry that we're opening that can of worms. To that point, just remember that the, the number is whatever the deliberative session says the number is. So, right. you, you know, the, the misinformation, there can be accurate information at the deliberative session. Right. And that, and it that usually number... usually comes between deliberative session and the vote. Yeah, but the number that will go the on the warrant will be right, right. whatever number the deliberative right, session but, says. But to your point, people can say, well, they're going to put that on there, but they're not going to have to spend that, so it's going to come back to us. Um, I, 
those are good points. And it's also a very important year warrant-wise mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. we have to get the SAU withdrawal passed and we have to be able to yeah. communicate that information in a clear way so that people understand what's going on with that and the benefits of passing that warrant. And our, <laughs> our putting one on doesn't preclude a petition warrant going on and confusing Everybody. Yeah, true. 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 But again, the bottom line is that we, if the information is incorrect, as you said, we're not obliged to, you know, to go forward with, you know, whatever the result is on a warrant that's incorrect. If the, if the information is, if the math is correct, we don't have to. But has the school board ever put on a warrant article that they do not recommend? <laughs> says yes, we're done. Either way, I, d I don't, and, and you know what, I respect everybody's opinion at this table, because I think we all have a, we, we come to our opinions, you know, they're all heartfelt. This is not, you know, simple stuff. This impacts people. It's going to impact my daughter. So I have a vested interest in how this goes. Impact my pocketbook. But either way, exactly. So, you know, it's not like I don't care. Do whatever you want. This is, I believe, we were we were charged to investigate. We investigated. So there is not. I'm really struggling for a reason to delay this because next year it's going to be the same thing. It's going to be the same thing, and we're going to be asked, why is it that we are delaying this? We really need to have a very good reason not to. We've done, you did your, you had your... It's going to cost 300 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's a reason. <laughs> it's a reason, I but again, you. we have, but the town needs to make the decision regarding, we're, we're the financial stewards. We're asking the town. This is a warrant. This is, we're not baking this into a budget. This is a warrant. This is your decision. Because go forward, it's going to continue to cost as much and more. Mm -hmm. and, and so, the, yeah, and, and I, do, I understand the point, and it's very important. The information, I don't know how we're going to get it out that this, this is premature, and that every year, if, if the town, for some reason, votes for it, we will be spending $300,000 that we don't need to spend. And we could be saving that money year over year over year, saving the taxpayers that money year over year over year. And it's going to be, it's going to be a hit. I and mean, that's, a, that's a substantial um, you know, hit to the tax bill. Um, and, and so on the, on the chance that sticker shock doesn't, doesn't stick for some reason, it, it's, yeah, I, I, I did, but of course putting it on a warrant does get people's attention. Like I said, it's going to be I, a standalone. This is not going to be baked into a budget where it's not seen. It's but, right there. But it's also likely that there'll be 
it's possible there'll be, if we don't put one on, it's likely there'll be a petition launch. Right. Which again, we would have to get information out about so, so that people know the facts. And even if we do this, there may be a petition warrant, which means, I think, widespread confusion. So it's, I, I, you know, I don't know if we, go ahead. Excuse me, I just have a question. Petition warrant articles, the, the number, if, if the, the number was inaccurate, could, at the delivery session, also be changed. Is that right? Yes. It's not different because they're petition. No. It can be amended at the delivery session. And the, and the order of articles is decided by the DRA or by us? Um, the order of articles is decided by you. So we could put a, in the past we have traditionally put petition, petition warrant articles last, but we don't have to. No. Okay. So the school board makes that decision? Yeah, you order your warrant articles. DRA has the <laughs> final um, decision right. on wording. Um, but where they go on the warrant is up to you. So I think we've had a very good discussion. We do not have to decide this this evening. We have time to discuss this again at our next meeting before we have to have our warrants. We do not have it. We will not then have warrants in time to present to the budget committee because we're doing that next Wednesday. Um, because I'm assuming that because there's money on it, and, and even our petition warrant article, that both that we that we could also say whether we recommend or not a petition warrant article because they have money on them, and that the budget committee can do the same. I'm assuming whether they recommend them or not, even if it's a petition. So I'm thinking, okay, and even this this one, if you yes. were to choose, yes. to, they would. I think we can anticipate one way or another. There's going to be a warrant. But we won't know that by the, no, by the time no. we make our decision. Right. But I can't imagine the budget committee recommending this as well. Right. I can't imagine. Especially if we don't. Right. What is your take on that? I would, I would be very surprised. I would be very surprised. Extremely. Well, especially if we don't. So that being said. Right. All right. I, I, and, I'm, and I'm going to suggest that we that we that we Table it. That, that we. If, if this wording is, is sort of the informational type wording, it, is the wording the same as... It, well, that's know, informational it, to you. I mean, when it goes right. on the warrant. <laughs> but you said that we could put on a factual, whatever it's called, factual, what would you call it? A factual, a factual warrant? Well, but all that, warrants are factual. Yeah, so I, I mean, that's what it's going to be. And, okay. and DRA, that's what I'm will, asking. DRA will most likely tweak some of that language a little bit. But I it's always gonna, send them to legal first, and then the yeah. DRA always okay. makes it. Okay, and then we can add the tax impact. We don't add it to the warrant, but I always do that summary sheet of every. Um, no, we, don't add it. we do not. I thought it was always right there with no, you. No, no, no. We you put it on. Can. Can. But I don't think you can put it on just one. You and cannot not put it on. I, I think it has to be on all of them. But we always present that we summary present sheet it. at the deliberative and the public hearing on with uh, the tax impact on all the items that are up for. I think something yeah, to take well, into consideration too is them. that if the budget committee and the school board do not recommend something, that carries some weight. Again, I just think does. we really need to address this. I I I don't I'm really trying to think of a reason why we shouldn't address this now. And um I'd love to put this off for years. Uh, I just don't see what the rationale for it is. Maybe because is not a well, it, cause. It, it, in reality, if our kindergarten enrollment remains um, steady as to what it is right now, within two years we will not have space in this building because because they you know they we just, they're, 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 we're just not going to have space. So there's a very compelling reason. So this is premature, but they've been. But the town has also been hearing that for the last. You know, I, I think I predicted six years. Fixing that bridge was premature too. Yeah. But, but I think having the tax impact, if, if that, I mean, if it means all of them, then that's what we should do. So what does the board want to try to make a decision now, or do you want to wait? Uh, and and do we say anything to the budget committee uh, next week? about the possibility of this going on. 
I think certainly at. about the possibility. I believe one way or another it's going to go on. I just I can't imagine that it's not going to. You know, word will travel fast, and then before you know it, there'll be a warrant, yes, and then the town will have to make a decision. I would much rather be the ones, though, putting the warrant together. And if we don't recommend it, if we feel that this is not a good idea, we just don't recommend it. The budget committee, and let the budget committee toss it around, see how much they want to put three hundred and sixty-five thousand or three hundred twenty. It's a lot of money. It's not a $50,000 warrant. Uh, one more thing I think I would just like to, since we're laying all our cards on the table, a lot of times the feedback that I hear when saying, you know, how much is this going to cost is, well, it would just be cheaper then to just send them all to Marshall. Like, maybe it's time to just do that. But they can't take them all. Right? And I think people need to understand that Marshwood doesn't have room for all of our elementary kids. Um, they've made that pretty clear. They've yeah. made that clear. Um, we've been trying to make that clear, but I don't know that it's really made its way around everywhere. So maybe that's part of... Yeah. Well, I think that will If it's all about money, then, then the town's still going to have a building here. You know, if we, so... Actually, the school board's going to have a building. <laughs> seriously, right. seriously, we, right. we, 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 it's ours, but we have to raise taxes to it. You know. Yeah, we have to maintain it. We have to eat it. Right? Put a fence around it. And yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And they'll never open this building again as a school ever. It'll be. Completely but it's not an option building. anyay. Yeah, we it's can't. Not it's not an option. Take our kids from three and send them to you know Summersworth and then send everybody up. That's crazy. That's, that's no. But the, this is a good talking point when the deliberative session, you know, during as a footnote, you know, that we can even say there has been discussion amongst the town folk that perhaps we should send all of our children. Well, we can't. Yeah. And here's why: they don't have the anything, which they don't. We asked them. Mm -hmm. Remember? Mm -hmm. And they hedge. Oh, we'll, we can work yeah, something out. You're not going to put them into, into, you know, you know, little huts out in the back of the building. Yeah. Oh, some Rollins for the folks. Mm -hmm. And it just Rollins revives all the sheds. The, the sheds, yeah. The last time. <laughs> yes. That 20 by 10 <laughs> shed. <laughs> so it sounds like we, we, make, we, make, we keep this as a draft and we make the final decision. Well, we make the final decision on all of our warrants. So that we can discuss it with the um, it, it is not right with the budget committee yes. next week. Yeah, have a discussion there. Yeah. Um, and I, and I will I will point out as people talk about the cost of things. When we had our when we started at Marshwood, we had a tuition agreement with Summersworth. We are just now hitting the first per pupil tuition cost at Marshwood five years later than we started with at Romans in, in Summersworth. So. It is indeed, the base tuition cost is indeed better for us at Marshwood than, 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 than what it was at Summersworth. Yeah, we're just, yeah. Hitting, we're just hitting it right now. That's so the base tuition for the first year there, it went up 3% every year. So I mean, so that, that, that was a, a financial decision. It was sort of the perfect storm where people who wanted to save money and people who wanted a better education came together. And, and it passed overwhelmingly. It's one of the most overwhelming votes that ever happened in this town. And and, and I believe it, it's proven out uh, to, be, yeah, to be a good yeah, move. For sure, but but Just based now we're now we're down to nitty gritty little things. That, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, so all set on this discussion right now. All right, we do have one other uh, one other uh, item here, which is the water district discussion. I asked to have this added because it occurs to me that we as the school are a member of a water district, but we have no representation. Yeah. And so, so how do we go about being represented? And I don't know. I don't know if it's a, a if it's a if it's a, a, a note to the water commission saying how do we get represented? Is it a note to our lawyer saying how do we how do we get represented? How do how do we get allowed to speak? You know, do we have to beg permission, or are we allowed to speak because we're? Oh, I won't let residents speak. Why the hell would he let the school speak? <laughs> <laughs> but 
But I mean, so so uh, so as a board, there must be a way we can. Yeah, where do we want to start? Do we want to start with? How about a letter or an email or something? Some sort of yeah, I, I don't. I, I'm not real knowledgeable about your water commission, but I I would assume that we would draft a letter from. I can draft a letter from my office, basically asking in 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 regards to the school board how you get a vote. I mean, it seems to yeah, me if a resident has a vote, keep, mm, then you should have a vote. So right. well, I think it's At worth finding out. I think it's worth finding out what it is. We live, we live in, you know, the school is probably yeah. one of the highest rate payers uh, in yeah. Yeah, maybe the mill is higher if they only have one, one meter going in. I don't know. One vote for each student. There's another there you go. <laughs> now they get their votes at home. That'll be another thousand dollars in legal fees. I can, I can certainly find that out. All right. So I think a, 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 a letter, um, just, just checking into almost for that would be good. Sure. Just to show that, I mean, we're interested, and we're interested in being good working partners when this project starts as well. We want to be early adopters, not the... Uh, yeah. Well, late. I mean, we can't have any service interruption. We need to have running water in the building, so... I mean, can't be surprised. Yeah, they can't be, so. uh, we're just unilaterally doing this, so that's not quite how it works. Well, they were, they were providing for water and all that stuff, that was, was well, just the good. timing that was... Unknown. And, bus, and not being able to get to hold the parking lot and the, you know, a lot of things were happening. Yeah. But, but anyway, I mean, the, the, they're committed to having the, to working with the school, I believe, as well as all the homeowners they should be. across the street. So, yeah. Okay, so th Bob, so you'll take that on at that player to the water. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what that means yet, but I will. <laughs> all right, well, um, we have no other action items this evening. <laughs> Um, so, uh, obviously, we had the um, SAU meeting on Monday. Uh, it's, the, it's the SAU uh, budget. For those who can make it, we do need to move it forward. We do need to have a quorum there. So, as, as best anyone can do, we know Andrea's already excused. <laughs> and I know there may I'm be others. I'm just down excused. the street, so I'm just going to... Right? Right? Oh, yeah, so... Bob and I are just going to jump in the table, bus, we'll be there. and head over. <laughs> and carpool. Wednesday is the budget committee uh, here at 6:30. Yes. And, and the ninth is our next uh, our next school board meeting. Wednesday next week. Wednesday next week is the budget committee 6:30 here. All right. Anything else right now? All right. And, any other? Yeah. So, um, closing comments by <laughs> visitors. See no closing comments by visitors, closing comments by board members. Looks like we're all talked out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, motion to adjourn, please. Emily.